Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. So, I've mentioned the fourth dimension before, but this time I'm making a single video about it, and this is going to be on what the fourth dimension may look like, or more specifically, what the third dimension looks like. That may sound odd to you because we are 3D beings, we're in the third dimension, so we always see it. But I think that we only see um, in 2D. What I mean by that is, I can take this cube and like it looks 3D to me because I can rotate it. The hues of light allow for shadows and whatnot and also my depth perception. I can see this corner is closer to my eyes than this corner. So I have gathered that this is in fact a 3D object or a 3D cube. But really how I'm viewing this is completely in 2D. For instance, if I were to look at this face here, all I see is a square. If I were to look at that, that corner there, well if you draw around there, the shape it makes out is actually a hexagon. So like I said, the hues of light and the shadows make it so we can see it as a 3D object. But the outline is really only showing the 2D object. So. That's why I think us 3D beings can only see in 2D. So, what if you were a fourth dimensional being? Then I would assume you'd be able to see the third dimension, like you'd be able to see it actually how it is. So the way I would then view this cube being a fourth dimensional being, um, at first you'd think maybe then like the whole cube would then be blown up as if I had pulled it apart so I can see like the back of it. But I think the way you'd view this would be um, you could like see through it. So I could still see the front face but I could also see through the front face the back face. And then so, so if I were to view it from this corner I'd see, I can see those, those three faces now but Seeing through it, it would allow me to see those three faces as well. Same if I viewed it from the front or any other angle. That goes with any other object. And this also got me thinking about, you know, I've had a glass jar. They're already transparent, so I can already kind of see everything of that glass jar from any angle. So that can almost give you a little visualization of what something could look like just using something we've already seen before and are very familiar with. So basically that's it. That is, um, I suppose I can call it part one to um, explaining the fourth dimension and uh, that was a completely original thought of mine. Um, just thought I'd like to share it with you guys on what the third dimension may look like uh, if you're a 4D being. But anyway, if you did enjoy that video, however, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.